Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 12, 2022. If you like to support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button above and this see our news it is. And let's get to it. To it. So, so uh, we'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, on Friday, quite a good day, up 3%. But that was also kind of expected as we were getting fairly oversold in, in WTI oil. We have had a massive bashing here in uh, WTI oil. And usually when we are about to have uh, this golden crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, usually this tends to rally up towards the 50 before going down. So that is kind of what I'm expected uh, in the next or the coming uh, few trading days that we'll see the 50 moving average moving this direction we'll have a rally up towards the 50 before continuing down. So main reason why I'm saying that is because most of this is due to um, demand destruction. So as the world economy is slowing down, less demand is going to be for energy, especially oil, um, and therefore prices should be decreasing. It doesn't really matter how tight the supply is if nobody needs uh, oil at this point and then we are going to see the prices drop so every time we have had major downturns in the world economy saw it basically here in 20, uh, 20 2020 this was an extreme example but we could also go back towards uh, if you go the monthly here we can see what basically happened back in uh, 2008 uh, in the financial crisis where we fell from uh, 30, 137, 47, all the way down to uh, to uh, 31 dollars a barrel. We also saw it in 2018 and 17. Um, so there is a fairly significant correlation between economic uh, activity and and the price of oil. So if uh, Euro slows is slowing down, which it is, China is slowing down, and the United States probably also will be slowing down then price for oil in the long term should be also going down. So well, probably the mentality will be uh, selling uh, these uh, rallies. So there'll probably be a few more days before uh, we get um, towards the 50 moving average. And if we get a very negative candlestick similar to this one and also that one and so on, uh, then there probably is going to be selling occurring. If you look at technical indicators, they are MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish at this point and RSI is also bullish. So Momentum is kind of turning to the upside, but expecting uh, a selling when we occur uh, if we uh, run into resistance at the 50 moving average. However, if we break above here, then we may go back towards uh, 197, probably towards $100. But that is at this point looking fairly uh, optimistic. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has also been completely obliterated the last few weeks. We had this massive drop here um, uh, on, I thought it was on Wednesday. And uh, on the last two trading days, we were basically hanging on. We did rally quite significantly on Friday and then gave that rally back. So question here is whether or not US is going to be able to sell LNG to Europe. At this current stage, they're not. But if they are going to, then demand for LNG is going to spike uh, in the next few months. And, 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 and that means that we'll probably go significantly higher than we are at this point. At this current stage, uh, 10 is the highest that we have gone to. After this massive fall here, we went way, way below the 200 moving average, all the way down to 5.3, and then recovered quite significantly. 50 moving average is holding at this point. If we rally from here, 20 simple moving average is at uh, 8.9, and then we may go back towards the very highest. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is, uh, has crossed the signal line becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So at this current stage, it can drop towards the 200. It can also rally towards the 20. A simple moving average is a complete gamble at this current stage. And most of this is driven by news. Um, and most of these shocks are basically really major moves here due to uh, good news or bad news. So a really difficult market to basically trade.
So, hope you found this helpful. You will to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button above to see our news videos and all our trades and uh, portfolio available in the link down below. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck, and thank you very much.